I'm a really nice guy. He's roly poly yoli. He's small and smart and round. And in the land of curves and curls, he's the swellest kid around. Howdy. Howdy. Hooray. Hooray. And in the land of curves and curls, he's the swellest kid around. He's roly poly yoli. He's small and smart and round. Boy, will Uncle Gizmo be surprised when he sees this. Tell us when we can look. Okie dokie. Oh, no. Oh. Well, how do I look? Well, um... You look really silly, dear. No, I look just like Uncle Gizmo. See? I'm the hippest, the hoppinest, the swingin'est. Oh. Oh. Oh! Jimin. Uncle Gizmo! <laughs> it's pretend hair, Zoe. That hair just doesn't fit you, dear. Don't worry, I'll find a way to keep it on till Giz gets here. When's Uncle Gizmo oh. coming, Mom? Sometime this afternoon. Of course, you two don't remember him. Oh, last time Giz dropped around, you were knee-high to a monkey wrench. <laughs> oh. Come on, Zoe, let's go out and play until Uncle Gizmo oh. gets here. Okie dokie, Ollie. Howdy. What you doing? Waiting for our uncle to visit. That's too bad. Why too bad, Billy? Yeah. Aunts and uncles are no fun. When my Aunt Rhombus visits, he got to take three baths and get all dressed up fancy. Then all you do is sit and sit and sit and sit while the grown-ups talk for hours. Hours? They don't know boinky ball or hide and seek or any games. Uncle no fun, Nolly. Guess not, Zoe. <laughs> Ah, how those kids have grown. Mm. Well, hey, kids, turn those frowns right side round. Uncle Giz is coming to town. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> well, hey, now. I'm not Dad. I'm your Uncle Gizmo. Come on, Dad. You can't trick us. We sort of wish Uncle Gizmo weren't coming. Yeah! Well, you don't want to see your Uncle Giz. Well, why not? Because uncles are no fun. No fun. Well, no fun? Now, how can you tell what someone's like before you even meet them? I know. What do you say we play a little ball? Blanky ball! <laughs> Come on, Dad. I'll let them think I'm Dad, and maybe they'll learn something about uncles. Okie dokie. Now, how do we play Bonky Ball? It's Boinky Ball. You know. I do? Oh, uh -huh. well, yeah. I'm hip to that. But how's about doing it different? Just for fun. Like this. <laughs> Here, Zoe. <laughs> bonky, wonky. Boinky, boinky. Oh, yeah. That too. Last one there's a later tater. Noon time! Noon time! Giz is coming soon time! <laughs> Better hurry. <laughs> Super Rangers to the rescue! Rescue! You can't stop me, Super Rangers! I'm the mighty orb! Oh, I'm hip to that. 
Well, you got it, baby. <laughs> Wee! Wow, that's real high, Dad. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, your dad... Her uncle and I used to play just like you two. But uncles don't know any games. Well, hey, get out of town. Gizmo sure does. Uh, did. His favorite was hide and seek. Hey, that's my favorite game, too. Well, I'm happy to that. Where'd he go? Hide and seek. Hi Ready seek. or not, here we come. Here we come. This ought to keep it on. What ought to? Good old reliable duct tape. Huh? Spud! Come back, Spud! Come back, Spud! Where's Dad going? Ooh. Gotcha! Wow! How'd you do that, Dad? Neat! Play now, Dad! I guess we have time for one more game before Uncle Giz arrives. Yay! <laughs> this isn't going anywhere my head doesn't go. Yes, dear. Gonna call the kids in. Mm -hmm. Giz should be here soon. Yes, dear. Hmm. Must be over at Billy's. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, good monkey. Well, takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess it's time to go inside and meet your Uncle Giz. Aww. Hey, turn those frowns right side round. Uncle Gizmo's coming to town. You found them. Where'd you get that suit? They're not over at Billy's. Uh, Uncle Gizmo? I'm Dad. Oh. Then that means two daddies? You're Uncle Gizmo? Mm-hmm. But you can't be. You're fun like Dad. Guess you can't tell what someone's like till you meet them, right, Ole? I'm hip to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Daddy-o. Nice hairdo. So that's why the kids thought I was you. <laughs> a little joke, Gizmo. Oh, I can dig it. Oh, well, why don't you take the hair off, dear? <laughs> Guess you're right. Oh, dog on it. <laughs> now it's too tight. <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> oh, looking good, Ola. I am happy. To that. Space Boy of the Space Rangers. He fights a never ending battle against the forces of evil and defends his poly planet, poly house, and poly family. Oh, yeah. And his trusty sidekick, Space Dog, helps, too. Hurry, Space Dog. We have to cross the meteor belt. Looks like a friendly planet to me. <laughs> Keep your eyes open, Space Dog. My supersonic sensors detect space monsters. Ole? <laughs> Playing Space Boy again? Your favorite game, isn't it? It's not just a game, Dad. When I grow up, I'm going to be a space ranger. I'm going to save the galaxy from space monsters. Just like on TV. Dad? Mm-hmm? You think there'll be real space rangers when I'm all grown up? Well... I don't know. Well, what'll I be if I can't be a space ranger? Oh, there's lots of things you could be. When you were little, did you always want to be a dad, Dad? You know, Ole, 
When I was your age, I wanted to grow up to be a paleo robotologist. Huh? A paleo robotologist? What's that? A paleo robotologist is someone who digs up Robosaurus bones. Golly, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Across the desert wasteland, the great Oli Pal Pal Paleo Palium Robosaurus Bone Hunter makes his way with his camel spot. The sun beats down. The air is hot and dry. Ah. This looks like a good spot, Spot. Bet you we find a whole herd of Robosaurus skeletons. Spot? Maybe we should both dig in the same hole. Hey boy, you found something. My baseball. No wonder I couldn't find it. Now what could have chewed it up so badly? Hmm. Maybe it was a Spotosaurus? <laughs> Okie dokie, Spot. Now let's find those bones. This is a lot harder than I thought. Spot, I found one. My first Robosaurus bone. Gee <laughs> whiz. Probably from a big bouncy rubber ballosaurus. Or maybe a squeakosaurus. Or maybe your old squeaky toy. Oh well, abandoned by his used to be faithful desert pal, Spot, the great Oli, friendless, treasureless, makes his way home to the kitchen for lunch. This will cheer you up. When you were little, did you always want to grow up to be a mom, Mom? Not always, Oli. When I was about your age, I wanted to grow up to be a conductor. Like on a train? No, a symphony conductor. You know, the person who stands in front of a whole room full of musicians. And waves the stick? Oh, not just waving a stick, Oli. Painting a musical tapestry. First, the yearning call of the French horns. Then, the rising thunder of the timpani drums. The stirring resonance of the cellos, all sprinkled with the graceful magic of the glockenspiel. Yep, a conductor, you betcha. A sympathy conductor. Wow, that's what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> Great Olipold stands before the Olipolian Sympathy Orchestra. What was all that noise about, Ole? 
Sounded like a train wreck. And what are you doing in there? Sorry, Dad. That was supposed to be music. I was practicing to be a sympathy conductor. A symphony conductor, huh? But it didn't work out. I tried being a paleoleologist, too. Didn't work out either? Nope. And now I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. When you grow up? <laughs> Golly. You got lots of time to figure that out. Yeah? You betcha. Till then, it's just plain fun to pretend. I'm good at pretending. It's Space Boy! And Space Dad! Of, of the, the Space, Space Rangers! Rangers. My dad's latest invention, Billy. Your dad's always inventing the neatest stuff. Come on, let's go look. Three, two, one, blast off! Wow! What's it supposed to be, Mr. Polly? A time machine? A can opener? Oh, just a little something I've been tinkering with, Billy. Seems I just can't get it to do anything. I'm gonna take a break. Don't touch anything, you two. Okie dokie. Yoki. I wonder what this does. I don't know, just don't touch it. Got our space helmets. There. Wow! How'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> you try it, Billy. Your dad's infection. Yeah, we must have done something to it. It turned us into magnets. <laughs> Except everything <laughs> sticks to us. We're Magno Men, Billy. Wow! Here it comes! <laughs> But is only worried? No way! Neato! Hooray! <laughs> Nothing escapes me. I'm the great Magnoli. And I am the master of magnetism. Come to me. Come to me. <laughs> Dolly fly. Bye-bye, Dolly. Mama. Yay! <laughs> we are Magnomen! <laughs> Billy, our helmets don't fall off, and neither do we. <laughs> Only sticky, really sticky. <laughs> I'll just turn this. Take that. <laughs> Magnomen anymore. Must have wore off or 
subsid. It hasn't worn all the way off. I think it's all worn off now. Yeah, finally. Still, it was fun being Magno Man while it lasted, right? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> ah! Tell your dad. Let's go. <coughs> <coughs> Polly, thanks a lot. Sorry, Dad. We fiddled with your invention after you said not to touch it. But we won't ever do that again. Huh, Billy? Okie dokie, boys. Just don't touch my tools or inventions unless I say it's okay. Okie dokie. Golly, that thing works pretty good. Too good. I'll call it a Magnotron. <laughs> 